excited to be here with y'all this morning. We have been asked to come and and gather as a round table mm -hmm. to as the women of sustainability of, of Southern Company. So it is exciting to be here. I'm Stephanie Cooper. I'm the Vice President of Corporate Sustainability for Alabama Power. And with me, I have Tequila Smith. Happy to be here. Yes, also Vice President of Corporate Sustainability for mm -hmm. Georgia Power. And with us virtually is Joanne Mello, uh, Vice President of Corporate Sustainability for Gas. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. So we've got to talk business first, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanna ask you all, what does sustainability mean to you? Okay, I'll kick it off, Joanne, and then you can follow up and then back to you, Stephanie. So um, I've had this conversation quite a few times since I've been in this mm -hmm. role and um, had a lot of back and forth. But for most folks, when they think about sustainability, it's protecting the planet, right? But when you put a Southern company lens on that, you know, what does that mean? And the way I like to explain it, each and every employee should see themselves in their everyday job in a sustainable way. So if that is interacting with new businesses, how do we grow Georgia, but do it sustainably? How do we bring in innovation into reliability and resilience? Um, also, when we think about our workforce, you know, making sure that we are hiring talent that represents the workforce of the future, but also represents our communities. And then lastly, how can you be a utility and not talk about the environment, right? So from our decarbonization strategy, also when you think about um, our natural resources, cleaning our rivers, cleaning our lakes, and making sure that we are looking out for our endangered um, habitat. So those are a few things that I think employees and our customers think about when we think about sustainability. What about you, Joanne? How do you talk about it? Yeah, no, I think I think that's a great answer, Tequila. I, I completely agree. And in many ways, when I when I talk about sustainability within our organization, we really talk about it as a business approach that we're actually generating value by mitigating risks and capitalizing on opportunities that really are associated with, you know, environmental, social, and governance issues. I know we're going to be talking about ESG today, um, but really thinking about the long-term sustainability, not just of our business, but the communities um, in which we live and operate, um, and really going beyond financial performance to think about, you know, how can we make our communities a better place to, to live and work? So it, it's exciting because it really touches so many parts of our business, um, and I think the, the, the really neat thing about our jobs is that we get to work with folks across the organization because sustainability really is embedded throughout our business. Absolutely. Those are great, great answers. You know, and a lot of times I just short shorthand it for people when they say, what, you know, what is this? Right. Why, what are we doing? A lot of times you'll see the definition just very simply put, it's that intersection of people, planet, and prosperity. That's right. And that's so much of, of what y'all talked about in those answers. Um, but Joanne, you also mentioned ESG. So, so right, we hear a lot, well, what's sustainability? What is ESG? Why does it matter to the company? Um, so can you talk a little bit about ESG, expand on that a little bit further? Yeah, no, I mean, I think we're hearing a lot more about how ESG is an emerging area of focus, you know, not only for our investors, but for really all of our stakeholders, you know, our, our customers, our employees, our communities, um, really the, the folks with whom we interact on a daily basis. And um, again, when I when I talk to folks about this, I'm like, look, this is core to who we are. We've been doing this for years. Um, you know, we've been really engaged in these environmental, social, and governance topics, um, but it's really kind of reframing how we talk about it and how we share information information about what we're doing. The, the wonderful thing about Southern Company and each of the operating companies under Southern Company is that we are really focused on being a citizen, you know, where we serve. Um, and in many ways, um, ESG and sustainability is about, um, you know, reflecting that and sharing with all of our stakeholders the things that we're doing. And then also really thinking about, you know, how can we be best in practice in terms of um, measuring our, our performance in those areas and benchmarking ourselves against others and really demonstrating um, where we're going for the future on those topics. Um, but would love to hear from, from you guys about how, how you're thinking about ESG as well, because I think the interesting thing about ESG is that, you know, there's obviously a lens of it for the corporate level for Southern Company, um, but then for each of us, we were working with our operating companies to think about, you know, how does that apply to Southern Company Gas? How does that apply to each of the electric utilities? So would love to get your guys' perspective on that as well. 
Yeah. That's killer. Tell us how it applies to Georgia Power. <laughs> well, I think, you know, one of the things that I would love for just the company and our customers to understand is how well we work together. And mm -hmm. I, I think using right. ESG is a, is a great example of, you know, I can do the right thing for Georgia and you can do the right thing for Alabama Power, but we have to work together to make right. sure, right, that we're working together and we're representing the entire Southern company. And so when I think about ESG, it's about telling that holistic story, but making sure that we're representing our op code as well as our parent company. And so that's why we're talking maybe once or twice a week, right? Yeah. <laughs> whether virtually on the phone, um, face to face. Um, and I don't think a lot of people know how much time we spend together to make sure that we're doing the right thing for all of the operating companies. That's so true, Tequila, it's so true. And really, you know, in the ESG framework, it is all about this creation of long-term value. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times though, to Joanne's point about how we express that through metrics and other avenues, that's what investors look at. And, right. and I mean, money is changing hands on these metrics. That's right. And so I think that's a really important thing for employees to understand, um, to know why it's so important and why they're hearing a lot more about it. As we talk through this, I also, there's a question that we've been asked to answer around what does our day to day look like, right? <laughs> so our day, so for me, the day to day is really coordinating uh, with people across those job functions. A really collaborative approach to That's leadership right. in this role, I think, is required um, to build allyship and and try to take these um, sustainability goals where uh, where we see them going in the future. And so a lot of collaboration there with people across those different pillars, helping define the pillars understand what our existing metrics are and maybe aspirationally what our metrics could be That's right. in these pieces and then really determining what that that narrative looks like and how we're going to tell that story through reporting and through metrics um, but i know to I've, I've looked at y'all your pillars as mm -hmm. well what georgia power has done i think they're mm -hmm. great will you tell us a little bit about them absolutely and this gives me the opportunity to give a shout out and a plug to this amazing agile team that worked on um, our strategy for us but the four pillars that oftentimes employees and customers hear me talk about um, innovating the future. So that's, again, all the things around resiliency and reliability. We work very closely with Fran Forehand's team, yeah. um, who is our Senior Vice President of Power Delivery. Also, we think about um, elevating our communities. That's everything from economic development to um, our citizens chapters, doing the good work um, throughout the state of Georgia. And then we also look at empowering our employees. So from a safety, health and wellness perspective, but also our DE and our work. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, innovating our future. So what is that customer of the future? What are they looking for? Is it microgrids? Is it more EVs? Is it electrifying their fleet? All of those things work to make sure that we are growing Georgia sustainably. And I smiled when you were describing your day because mine <laughs> is very similar. Right. Um, but because I think what makes our role so unique, we have this very large strategy that we have to lead but all the lanes of our peers throughout the company, right? And so right. I tell folks all the time, it's about relationship building and collaborative execution, making sure that we are keeping everyone informed as we talk internally through sustainability, but also at our operating companies. No surprises, making sure that we're bringing everyone to the table and making sure that everyone is represented. So lots and lots of meetings and phone calls and just hanging out with some really cool people what's going on at gas and what your day is like. Yeah, no, this is wonderful to, to hear you speak about your, your efforts because the, there's so many themes that come out of what you're saying that are so aligned with what's happening at the gas company. So hearing the words collaboration and, and innovation, I mean, those are themes that are absolutely kind of core to, to what we're looking at from a sustainability perspective at gas as well. Um, you know, we are actually right now undertaking an effort to develop uh, sustainability pillars for gas, similar to what Alabama Power and Georgia Power have done. And like, like what you've described, um, it is very much a cross-functional effort trying to seek input, I would say, internally from, from key stakeholders within our organization. Um, but then I'll also note, and I know this, again, was an enterprise-wide effort for Southern, really looking at, you know, what are the priorities from a sustainability perspective um, from some of our external um, stakeholders and partners? So looking at the perspectives of our investors, um, our regulators, our customers, um, and really trying to integrate that 
um, input, what we're hearing from those individuals and those organizations as to what is important for them to hear from Southern and to hear from each of the opcos as we continue to evolve in our sustainability strategy and in our reporting. And my day is very much like like you ladies. It's it's lots of meetings, lots of conversations, and no day is ever the same. So one day it could be really digging into data from an operational perspective and and thinking about how we're going to measure our methane emissions. Um, the next day it could be looking at at, um, you know, legislative proposals in our states that are, are related to, you know, clean energy or sustainability. Um, it could be working with employees. We have an employee organization that's focused on sustainability. So a lot of it's around education within our organization. So I spend a fair amount of time, you know, do, you know, speaking to our employees about these topics. So um, it, it is exciting. There's, there's never a dull mo moment in the world of sustainability. Well, that's, awesome. that is true. But I do want to say we're really privileged to serve in these roles. Absolutely. I mean, it's exciting. Sustainability, mm -hmm. it is an important area for our company. Um, but I, I know from our conversations that, that we all feel strongly about the fact that this work has been going on. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are countless people across all of our organizations who have been focused on sustainability and have really made that a priority within their careers. Um, and certainly we have our team, our, our broader system team, and it includes also women yeah. at Southern <laughs> Company, Laura Hewitt from a governance pers right. perspective and Sarah Stashak from an investor perspective. Um, and, and we have to give a shout out to our friend, Kelly McCullough, who has run yes. <laughs> um, the stakeholder <laughs> engagement uh, forums for Southern Company. And that's, that's just a handful. I think mm -hmm. when we do our uh, system, large sustainability call, I don't really know how many people are on it, but it, it certainly 40, feels like 50, a lot. Yeah. yeah, so there are so many people touching these, these roles and I that's think it's right. important um, that we recognize them as well. Absolutely.